Welcome to Three Meadows. It is a special place and special to see all of you here. You have traveled from far and near to share this day with two beautiful creatures and no much to ask Garrett. <laughs> Inside, he is a 42-year-old dad <laughs> with even fuller mustache <laughs> and endless okay. stream of puns and dad jokes. Ready to go? Uh, let me prove it to you. What's Beethoven's favorite fruit? Bananas. <laughs> and you know what's better than a dad joke? It's having someone who laughs harder to balance out all the eye rolls and head shakes. <laughs> Kind-hearted and capable, Haley and Garrett share these traits. The first time I met Haley, a house full of friends were visiting in McCall. We all agreed after that visit that it was a fabulous match of two amazing people. And Haley comes with a gaggle of awesome people as well. What an amazing event you all have created and an amazing life. These days I feel so lucky, all I can think of is you dying. Cause I'm worried that life owes me one. But the arbitrary happenstance of tragedy is tragic. So the more that these days wear on, the more lucky I become. Yeah, that's why you're the voice in my mind. It's inevitably crowded And I'll try To be the type Of person you'd be proud of So my story is actually as much about Garrett as, as Haley A couple months after the, things were official He said, I just don't understand why Haley's never had a boyfriend and I was like, oh, that's really sweet. And he's like, I mean, look at her. He's like, I mean, oh, God, she's so smart and she's so great. And, she's, and he just said, look at her. And I was like, oh, can I keep you? A souvenir, a hallmark card, a little banjo hit a swing. That doesn't mean that it's not true. But who could lie to you? Beam of light with a countenance you know I'll try to be the type of person you be proud of. I promise to love who you are today, tomorrow, and who we become as leaders change us. I promise to be an active member of our community and in our family. I promise to stand by your side in good times and bad, through epic powder days and missed trails back to the chair. And even when I'm mad at you for coming to find me after I missed the chair turn off. <laughs> and we have to call ski patrol, it's fine. I also promise that we will still be friends, even on powder days. And I'll still love you even when there aren't friends on powder days. I promise to try new things, to be fearless, knowing that I have you as my safety net. I promise to prioritize play, laughter, and enjoying every day that we spend together. I will support you and your endeavors, both nerdy and productive. And I vow to treat you as well as you treat Ringo.
It's official, and I think Susan and I for years have been saying, can we just keep them? So please let's toast Brian. <laughs> hilarious that you guys were in your early 20s as like an old married couple in their 50s. <laughs> Haley's knitting while Garrett grumbles about office politics and problems with the water heater. Thank you for loving my best friend. I hope you can be each other's home, safe harbor, and place of security amidst all the adventure in your future. So, cheers. in me by the internet dudes of the church of the latter-day dudes I now pronounce you husband and wife for the first time as a married couple you make us your spouse <laughs>